YouTube. I know it's that time of year when makeup companies are coming out with their holiday collections for holiday 2012. A lot of those include palettes and gift sets. Although I don't have my hands on any of the new holiday palettes, I do have some palettes that I want to share with you that are my favorite palettes. If you're in the market for buying somebody a gift for birthday or Christmas, Hanukkah, Thanksgiving, whatever you want to give a gift for, these are a couple of my favorite palettes. I will have prices and websites and information on where to buy them. I'll just tell you a little bit about each palette. I have my palettes in three groups. The more expensive palettes, the not so expensive palettes, and the cheaper palettes. So I'll start off with my more expensive palettes. This is the Naked 2. You guys have probably seen this quite a bit. I don't have the Naked 1 so I cannot say which one is better. I only have the Naked 2. And I will just say I really enjoy the Naked 2. Maybe whoever you're going to buy for has the Naked 1 but didn't get to buy the Naked 2 for whatever reason. You could surprise them with this. Or maybe it's somebody who doesn't even have any naked palettes. You can go with this. Now, in Naked 2, you have a very nice mirror and a double-sided eyeshadow brush. That is the mirror. And those are all the lovely shadows that you get in the Naked 2. In the Naked 2, you have 12 shadows and they are 0.05 ounces each. You have a very wide variety from light to black of all of your neutral color needs. I would say the Naked 2 palette is good for somebody who maybe doesn't have very many neutral shades in their collection or somebody who's on the go quite a bit. For travel purposes, this is a very nice palette, very heavy duty, and it has a very nice mirror to do your makeup. My next palette is a very nice Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. It comes in a velvet box with your palette right here. Very nice detailing on the side of this box. It's silver and purple. I think this is a very pretty addition to anybody's vanity set. And these colors are just phenomenal. There's a very good range of neutral colors along with some brighter, a little bit more edgy colors like the pink and the blue. In here you have 15 shadows. Of course they're very pigmented seeing as it's Urban Decay. I think this would be a nice gift for anybody who's a collector because it is a special edition anniversary palette or this could even go for anybody who just is starting off needing more eyeshadow palettes in their collection and the last palette i'll show you is the Too Faced sweet dreams palette again it's another very pretty palette to add to your collection it's like a book style detailing on the outer edge And then the inside of this palette, your mirror, your 15 eyeshadows, very nice range of colors again. You have your brighter purples and greens and a blue and you have a couple mattes and some neutral colors. And then you pull out a little drawer, you have the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer the Coco Rose Blush, the Sweet Pink Blush, and the Candlelit Glow Highlight. And a couple little note cards to show you how to do different looks. I really like this palette because it has the bronzer, the highlight, the blushes, and the eyeshadows. I think this is a very good value for the price and I think it would be nice for somebody who's a beginner who doesn't have very many things in their collection. Now I'm going to go over the second group, which is kind of in between expensive and not expensive. The first one I'm going to show you is the New Tude Palette by The Balm. 
This palette is special because it can fall under this category, but it can also fall under the more inexpensive palettes, depending on if you find it on Outlook.com. But otherwise, you can always buy this on The Balm's website. This palette has another mirror, 12 shadows, and a double-ended brush. A lot of people compare this to the Naked palettes. I'm not sure which one is better, but I like both of them. There's a range of white to black shadows. Mostly nude colors, again. So what I'd say about this is that the packaging isn't very sturdy. It's not as sturdy as Naked 2. So maybe you wouldn't buy this for someone on the go. I do enjoy this palette in my collection. I would say this is just a good palette to have. It would be a good addition to anybody's makeup collection. Whether they're a novice or advanced in the makeup world. Next palette is one that... I found on Sephora's website. It is called the Tarte Rising Star Palette. And it's very shimmery, so not gonna blind you. But it's kind of like a cushioned feel on the packaging, which is nice. Kind of resembles Sake Skills. Inside you have two brushes, 12 eyeshadows, a bronzer, a highlight, and two blushes. And a tiny mirror on the top. There's the shadows, and there's your highlight, bronzer, and blushes. I would say this is a good palette for anybody in the makeup field. I enjoy this palette because of the size. It's a lot easier to pull out of a collection of palettes rather than get a humongous palette out if you have a lot of makeup like I do. This little thing seems to do the trick though for eyeshadow looks, highlight, blush, and bronzer. The brushes are okay, but I would say besides that everything is great in this palette. And this palette is by Coastal Scents. It is the Creative Me palette. So you open up this palette and you have a very large mirror. See? It's a very good mirror for traveling, I feel, because it's very large. And the palette holds its shape. It doesn't, like, you know, the mirror doesn't, like, fall back. So I think you could, you know, position it and do your eyeshadow in the mirror. It's very nice packaging. Uh, it's very hard, so if you feel like traveling with it. In here you have 12 shadows, and they're not really the neutral shadows that you saw in these other palettes. They're a mixture of neutral and just a pop of color. Very good sized shadows for the price of this palette. And they're very pigmented. I think Coastal Suns has some very nice quality eyeshadows. So again, I would say this would be good for the traveling makeup artist, or maybe just somebody who's never tried out Coastal Scents. Give the Creative Me number one and two palettes a look-see. Now I'm on to the more inexpensive palettes, and this one just came out recently. I found it at my Target a couple weeks ago. It's called The Little Black Beauty Book by e.l.f. This is the Warm Python Edition. Now, I don't even know if you can buy these on the e.l.f. website yet, but it was $6 at my Target, so check out your local Target if you're interested. In this palette, you have 48 shadows, I believe, and a sponge tip applicator, and a decent-sized mirror. Those are your more neutral shades right there. And these are your more pop of color shades. And it closes up nicely like a little book. I think it's magnetic right there on the side. So I would definitely say this is another good palette to just have in your collection. Maybe if you're skeptical about e.l.f. products 
give this a try. I feel like this is very good quality. And like the Tarte Rising Star palette, it's very small so it's easier to grab instead of lugging out huge palettes. Also, I think if you have a cousin, a niece, a sister who's never really experienced makeup yet, these would be very cute gift idea. Or maybe even for like a mom or a grandmother who still likes to wear makeup but doesn't like spending a lot of money on themselves. These are a good gift. And then my last palette in this collection is another Coastal Scents palette and this is the 88 Ultra Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette. I've had this one for a very very long time. Bear with the messiness. You have a mirror and all of these little shadows. A wonderful range from bright to neutral. I really think these are a good addition to a makeup artist collection because of the wide variety of colors. Not everybody just likes to wear the neutral shades. But if you still like neutrals but also feel a little daring at times, it's a good palette because it has all of the shadows that you could possibly want. I use this palette a lot when it's Christmas or Halloween and I want to do a look based on the holidays like Christmas red and green. Halloween, maybe a candy corn eyeshadow look. I find myself going to this palette. Those are my favorite palettes of all time. Of course, they'll most likely be more added as the holiday season comes closer. But for right now, these are the ones that I have and that I love. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.